Another shoe was dropped in the Sex and the Secret Service scandal. The agency issued an internal memo today ordering new training, stricter rules on the use of alcohol, and assigning monitors from the service's Office of Professional Responsibility to accompany future advanced teams of agents who go to foreign countries to prepare for presidential visits. All this after the recent debacle in Colombia in which a group of agents lost their jobs after becoming involved with prostitutes. Our Nora O'Donnell broke the story earlier today. Nora? Bob, this is it. This is the memo that was sent to all Secret Service employees just a few hours ago. And it starts off by reminding employees of the Secret Service values, including honesty and courage. And it also says that the very foundation of these values is the Secret Service's personal and professional code of conduct. The crackdown comes two weeks after the prostitution scandal broke in Cartagena, a scandal that cost nine Secret Service employees their jobs. In the memo to all employees, the Secret Service tells personnel, you are expected to always conduct yourselves in a manner that reflects credit on you, the Secret Service, the Department of Homeland Security, and most importantly, the United States government and the citizens that we serve. This new code of conduct is effective immediately and requires ethics training for traveling personnel, bans bringing foreign nationals into hotel rooms, and lays down new rules on alcohol. It may only be consumed in moderate amounts while off-duty on assignment, and no less than 10 hours before a shift starts. The previous limit was six hours. Personnel may not consume alcohol at the president's hotel while the president is staying there. The new rules now specifically prohibit patronization of, quote, non-reputable establishments like strip clubs. In addition, two senior level supervisors will chaperone all support teams who travel in advance of the president in planes that carry the president's vehicles and communications equipment. The memo also states that U.S. law shall apply to all Secret Service personnel while abroad. And Bob, they're also holding a new ethics class next week and over 100 employees are required to attend. So does that mean there were no ethics classes, no ethics training before then? Well, I'm told there were ethics classes, but they were done sort of on the computer. These new ethics classes will be in a classroom. They will be required first of supervisors and then all employees. And everybody will be under the watch of uh, chaperone, as you called it, under these new rules. That's all right. right. All of those who are traveling abroad will have supervisors on those planes that accompany a lot of the equipment before the president arrives uh, abroad. All right. Thank you very much, Nora.